We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Christian Strausberger is here from P.F. Chang's. We're making wok chard beef. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for being oh, here this morning. Glad to be here. Good to have you. We have uh, great ingredients, so let's go over it and tell everybody what they need to make this. Okay. First, we have sliced flank steak, mm -hmm. um, then chopped uh, mushrooms, right. white button mushrooms and shiitakes. Okay. Green and red peppers, shallots minced, uh, leeks, mm -hmm. minced garlic, chili flakes, or uh, chili pods. Right. The important thing with the ingredients, when you're cooking in a wok, we cook so fast, everything's got to be the same size. So we try to slice our beef to sugar packet size, at least oh, for really? the restaurant. Okay. But uh, at home, as long as it's the same size, you don't want one piece completely cooked to death and the other piece completely raw. So cooking them, uh, cutting them up all the same size will mm -hmm. make sure that everything's cooked evenly throughout the, exactly. throughout the meal. Exactly, yep. All right. Uh, a couple of the sauces we use for this, we cook the vegetables in our uh, homemade chili oil. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a little veggie stock, uh, which is basically water with ginger and onions. Okay. Um, Kung Pao sauce, soy sauce, um, mushroom soy, some chicken stock. Sure. Uh, and then chow fun, which is sugar, mushroom soy, and some oyster sauce. The the chili right here, right here. will this they give it a little kick to it? Is it really hot? It's very it's, hot? It's not super hot. Yeah. It's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it. Though. All right, good. And we're going to cook on a wok. If someone doesn't have a wok at home, mm -hmm. what are we doing? Are we coming to see you? Are you going to help us out? <laughs> sure. Um, you can borrow one. I got right, a couple sure. extra. But, we're here. Uh, the, a nonstick pan's fine. It's good. Yeah, the whole thing is it's got to be hot. So it's that's having the key every, to that's the key to cooking yep, it and, and making sure everything's cooked all the exactly. way through. Exactly. All right, perfect. Sounds good to us. We're gonna get cooking it in just a little bit, and it smells good in here already. Back to you. Well, Chef Christian is here from PF Chang's. We're getting ready to uh, put the put the beef in into the wok. Exactly. All right. We're gonna start with our chili oil. Mm -hmm. Now, like we said before. It's important that the wok or the pan, whatever you're using at home, is extremely hot. Okay. So high, how hot should it be and how long do we have this on just to get that temperature up? I've had this on for probably about two or three minutes just okay. to get right. hot. Yep. Uh, I'm going to turn the fan on so okay. it don't smoke us out. All right. Get in there. Yeah. And you were saying if, if anyone at home, they're seeing this cooking on the wok, if they don't have a wok at home, any nonstick pan will do yeah. the trick. Yeah, a nonstick okay. pan would be right. fine. And make sure you cut the meat all on the same size. Yes. Too. Okay. So I'm gonna put that in there. Mm -hmm. How long will this cook for? Um, probably let it sear for about a minute on each side. Okay. Uh, just with the gas burner, it's a little bit different from what we use at the restaurant. You know, the uh, a wok burner is kind of like cooking over a jet engine. So this is a little bit different. Right. And also the meat that we're using here. If I'm going to look for for the meat today, what am I going to look for? Is there a lot of fat content in this? Yeah. Yeah. This it's uh, definitely a fattier cut of meat. It's flank steak. Uh, fat is flavor. Right. So we'll let this simmer for a little while. Mm -hmm. And you said with that with that chili, it's going to have a little kick to it. I have a little kick to it. It's more uh, smoky than hot. Okay. So let this cook. Get down with that. And you don't want to cook this too much because then it'll become too tough. Um, well, actually, the marinade that we use, uh, it's a it's a two-step process when we marinate the beef. The first process is to break down the connective tissue. Okay. Uh, so it gives it that you know, rip out of your sure. mouth type uh, texture. Uh, and then the second is just to kind of give it a crust so when you fry it up. And how long should it marinate for? We marinate it for at least 24 hours. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're going to get this today, make sure you can maybe make it tomorrow night instead, yes. of, instead of just making it tonight so that it does marinate for a little while. All mm -hmm. right. This is cooking away. It's at a high heat. Keep an eye on this. And we are cooking away. We'll put everything together in just a little bit. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, Chef Christian is here from P.F. Chang's. We're making wok chard beef, and we are ready to put everything that we've been talking about all morning together. All right. Uh, get the wok good and hot. Yep. You can start off with a little chili oil. All right. We're just going to kind of necklace it around. Okay, so put it around here. There you go. Perfect. Good. Fantastic. All right. Chili pods go in first. Now, these are hot, Now, right? how hot are these? They're more smoky than hot. Oh, really? More okay. Smoke? okay. Right. And... Get my ladle. In there. Yep. And really, all we're gonna do, we're gonna bring them to a a mahogany type of color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just like that, you see, it'll it'll almost start smelling like popcorn. Yeah. When it smells like yeah. popcorn, you know you're you're right there. All right, great. And they change color pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. All right. Then we're gonna throw in the shallots. Okay. Right there. Yep. And how much? How many? Uh, it's about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the fan on because I know that there's yeah, a sizzle. Yeah, trying to get Sizzle yeah. means some smoke. So garlic. here we go. We'll turn right. it on for a little bit. About a teaspoon of garlic. Okay. 
and now you were saying too, if people don't have a wok at home, you can use this regular pan just to make oh, yeah. sure that the heat yep. the is heat really is hot. Just make sure it's okay. really hot. Now we got a nice translucent color on the uh, the onions and the garlic. Yep. Next we're gonna throw in the peppers and the leeks. All right. This in here you go. The other tip you had was making sure everything was basically the same size. To yes. Cook evenly through. Exactly, because I mean we're gonna cook this whole dish in a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. right. So if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a a big hunking piece of pepper and right, you a don't want to be waiting little, on that one thing. Off, yeah. Right. You know, they're not gonna cook at the same time. Smart. No. All right. So we just get a little bit of color on those. Blister them up. And it does, because you're working with a wok, it, these are cooking very right fast. before very our fast. eyes. Yeah. Very fast. Okay, if you want to grab, careful, the handle might be a little hot. Okay, now this, remind everyone, what am I pouring in here? This is the sliced beef and the quartered mushrooms, the shiitake and white button mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And we just add those together. Woo! Oh, oh you see that good. he's a pro. You got the flip. <laughs> and this is the flank steak, right? Yes, this is the flank steak. Okay. And we just combine those, mm -hmm. and then we're going to use uh, an ounce of the chow fun sauce, which is in that ramekin right there. Okay. You can add that together. Now, what kind of sauce is this? I mean, is it is it hot? Is it spicy? Is it what are we talking here? Chow fun sauce is a combination of mushroom soy, sugar, and uh, oyster sauce. Okay. So it's kind of okay salty and rich. Mm -hmm. Got it. Don't be afraid of this one. Don't be scared. There's plenty of sauces that are. Right. Oh, yeah. You don't want to burn this, your your mouth off. This one's off. probably one of the. Um, the lighter sauces. Okay. So this this meal itself has a blend of a bunch of different flavors throughout. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And this is of course on the menu at yes. PF Chang's. Yes. This Anything is, else going on there around this time? Uh, right now we just started with new desserts. Uh, we're running uh, sweet treats, desserts. Uh, I actually bought a couple, brought a couple so I can show you. Nice. Um, one is a salted caramel dessert. One uh, a brand new tiramisu dessert. Wow. Yeah, it's they're pretty fantastic. And this is a busy time of year. Not that any time of year is not busy, because <laughs> business has been really great. At business the has been great. Mm -hmm. And then with all the holiday shopping going on, as soon as we open the doors, people are there. People right. are pouring in. So you're saying call ahead for reservations? Call ahead call definitely ahead. for mm -hmm. reservations. And you guys are located in Providence Place Mall, so that's good. You must get a lot of foot traffic there. Oh, yeah. So oh, if you're yeah. curious and you want this on, uh, on your menu, Make sure you uh, stop on by. And if you want this recipe, you can always head to our website, wpri.com. We'll show you the finished product a little later in the show.